Hi y'all. We We're gonna make lasagna tonight. I'm gonna make a big batch of lasagna and for Bill and I, I'm gonna make a small one for tonight and then I'm gonna make a bunch of them and put them in the freezer for the nights that we don't feel like cooking. So first I'm gonna start with the sauce. Here's my sauce. I just got it all together, mixing it up. Now my sauce, I'm making quite a bit. My spaghetti sauce is made with, uh, I'm doing four packages of spaghetti. Uh, it's okay if you have an oddball, it just changes the flavor a little bit. And then I put two cans of tomato sauce and two cans of diced tomatoes. And then I put two cans of water in there. I do not do the ingredients on the back. I have my own way of making it. Now over here, I forgot to take the turkey meat out of the freezer. <laughs> so we're just gonna cook it like this. Now I learned that using water is better than using oil because it, it doesn't allow it, when you have frozen meat, it doesn't allow it to stick to the pan. So put you some water in there, don't be afraid of it because we're gonna strain it anyway. My little cleanup crew is waiting for me to drop something. <laughs> <laughs> While the sauce is making over there, we're gonna go ahead and put our stuff together for the lasagna. We have 32 ounce of ricotta cheese. Then we're gonna put um, 24 ounce of cottage cheese. We got a cup and a half of cheese. Now, one thing I learned about lasagna is if you crack an egg and put it in there, it keeps it from uh, thinning out when you cut it out. It keeps it from thinning out on your plate. An egg will keep your lasagna together. Then we're gonna put a couple of tablespoons of parsley flakes. Mix it all together. Once you get it all together, this is what it looks like. Nice and soft and ready to put your lasagna together. I uh, forgot to tell you, I put a whole onion in it and I folded the meat into it. And if you'd like, you can put a bell pepper in there, but I don't have one. So now it's all ready and let's put the lasagna together. The first thing I'm gonna do is spray my pan. I'm gonna put a little bit of sauce at the bottom. It helps and keeps that noodle from sticking. And just spread it around, that's all you gotta do. Little bit of sauce. And then I'm gonna take noodles. Now listen everybody, you do not have to cook your noodles. That when you cover it with sauce and you put it in the oven, it softens it while it's in the oven. So leave your noodles hard. And you just spread your sauce on here, just like that, all on there. It is a mess, but that's all right. Tastes good at the end. She just dropped a little bit and the cleanup crew's done moved in on her. Like to throw her in the floor when they come through. <laughs> all right, get you another one. Now this little pan here is kinda small, so I have to break the shells to get it in there. And you just stack it up like that. And then you add a little bit of sauce on top. And you just keep going, keep stacking until you get all the way to the top. Okay, I've got it all stacked up. And what you do is you take your sauce and you cover the whole thing all down the sides and the middle. I see you jumping over there wanting a bite. Just cover everything up and put some extra sauce all around the edge. And that helps soften the noodles up real good while it's in the oven. Mm -hmm. Man, I can't hardly wait. Yeah, baby. Ooh. <laughs> Hot dog. Where's my cheese at? Oh, here's my cheese. Put some extra cheese on that baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the way I like it, baby. <laughs> and then mm -hmm. we're going to cover it up with foil. And then we're gonna put it in the oven for 375 for 45 minutes to an hour. Um, one thing I learned about lasagna is use a real sharp knife, stab it, and if it goes all the way through, that means your noodles are soft and it's ready to go. So 
I made extra tonight because we're going to put it in here. This is just enough for Bill and I. And I'm going to make a bunch of them, put it in the freezer for nights that we don't feel like cooking. And you can take it from the freezer to the oven. And it's really good if you have a family, get you a bigger one. And um, if you have enough, make extra and freeze it for the nights that you are like really tired. The kids drove you nuts. And it's just simple. I managed to make three extra lasagnas. And I'm going to put foil on them and put them in the freezer, date them. That way, the nights that we're just really tired, we'll just pop one in and voila, stuff is ready. And we're going to take some uh, Bill's homemade bread and make a garlic toast to go with our lasagna. Y'all have a great day.